Hello and welcome to Radiant Freedom Digital Marketing. And today we'll be looking at how to write your first blog post on WordPress. Okay, so you've installed WordPress. Everything is all set up and ready to go. You have all your static pages up. It's time to start blogging, right? So what do you do next? Well, that's what we'll be looking at in today's video. So when you first log into WordPress, you'll see a screen something like this. This will be your dashboard and then along left-hand side, you'll have your main administrative menu. So in this case, what we'll be looking for is to go to this item here called posts. And if we take a look in all posts, then you'll you know, see all the different posts you have. Now in this case, I have a couple of different, you know, demo articles that I've, you know, put into here. So what we're going to do though is yours will be empty. So what you'll want to do is click either add new here or go posts, add new. In either way, it'll take you to the same screen where we can add a new post. Now, before you get to this step, though, the first thing you're going to need to do is make sure that you have an article written to post. Now, I usually like to write my articles in a word processor document and save them on my computer. So two reasons. First is it gives me the freedom to just focus on writing the content and not worrying about what it's going to look like on the website at this point. And second is it also gives me a backup copy of it in case something goes wrong. I can always just copy and paste it from the document. So in this case, I've already got an article pre-written here. That's un, it's actually an unpublished article that I wrote a while back. And I'll just be using this one for the purpose of this demo. So, yeah, so and as far as getting this article written, I actually have another video I've done on that already, which I'll be putting a card up above you know, linking to that video so you can learn more about you know, how to go about writing your contents there. So, you know, what we're going to do is assume that at this point you have your website ready. We've got an article written and ready to go. So what we have here is the contents of the article. So we have the main title of the article. So do I need SEO for my website? We have some subheadings, a bunch of paragraphs. So this is a bit of a long, you know, longer article. But yeah, that's all right. So what we'll do is start publishing it. So what I'm going to do is click Add New, so that we'll open up the editor for being able to add our new post. All right, and here we go. So we've got our editor up. So the first step is you're going to want to copy and paste your title into this box here. So it says Enter Title here. So I was going to and I copied it, so now I'm just going to hit paste. So now your title's in here. That's going to be the headline of your article. It's also going to form the uh, direct link to your article in a moment. As soon as I click away, WordPress will automatically create that for me. And there it is. So this was what's called your permalink. So this will you know, be what people use when they're sharing your article or when you, you want to share your article. So that part's done. So the next step is... And we got the rest of our article, so we're just going to select all of this. And now I'm just going to right click copy just so you can see what I'm doing, and then right click paste. All right, awesome. So we have all our article and all our contents in here. So you might want to double check on, on your uh, formatting. So maybe you want this part here the whole phrase, my website bold. So I'll just go highlight that, click this B character here for bold. So now the words, my website are in bold. Up here, you can also see some information. So these are your uh, formatting options. So bold, italics, here you can create a bulleted list. Here a numbered list. You can use the different types of quotes. Here you can align your text center. Maybe I want this thing here centered, or say I want this headline centered. You can click highlight it, click align center. Now it'll move it to the middle. So if you want to do that with all of your titles, just go like this. Let's say all your main, you know, sub you know, headlines in the article. Then we just go along, I'll hide them and just keep repeating all the way down. So those are some of the formatting options. Here you use this if you want to insert a link into your article. Say maybe you want to link to another article you wrote or to one of your sources. So I'll just give you a quick demo on how that works. 
So you just basically what you do is you pick the text you want to make into a link. I'll just pick this at random. Then you click insert edit link. So then you type the uh, website you want to do. I'll just link it to Google for demonstration purpose. So you just go www.google.com. Now, most people, and there's a mistake that a lot of people make when they're inserting links into their website, is I'll just leave it like this and think you're really good to go. What's going to happen though is anyone that clicks on this link is then going to leave your website. They're going to leave your article and go to wherever it is you are linking to. We don't necessarily want that to happen. So there's this little gear icon here. You click this, it'll open up some additional options. And what you want to do is click open link in new tab. Okay, it looks like it lost our URL, so I'll just put it back in here again. www.google.com. Now click add link. So now this text has just become uh, clickable. So it's going to send people to google.com. Although one, yeah, so it's going to send people now to google.com whenever anyone clicks on this text. Of course, this article looks a little bit plain right now. We want to add some uh, visuals to it. All right, so over in this folder here, I've you know, selected out some uh, images that I have on file. These are all stock, public domain type images. And what I've done is picked out a collection of them that look like they're relevant to the article. So what we'll do is be picking out ones among these to insert in various parts in the article to help complement you know, the right you know, the text in the article. And I'll just do a few of these just to show you how it's done. So the first image that you want to take a look at, now first of all, you want to also select the right category. So let's say category one is for SEO, then I would tick that one off. Now, continuing on. So here you have this option down here towards the bottom of this sidebar called Featured Image. So what I'm going to do is click Set Featured Image. I'm going to go to Upload Files. Then what I'm going to do is pick, uh, say, maybe I want to use this puzzle piece with SEO written in it. So I'm going to drag that over into here. And that's going to automatically upload this image. And in a moment, there we go. Now it's ready to go. Now you notice the image is quite large. So what I'm going to do is click Edit Image because you don't really need it to be that big. That's just going to slow your website down. So I'm going to just knock this down to, say, 650. Let the you know the width here, let the height take care of itself, and then click Scale. So WordPress will then automatically shrink the image down to the size we want, and then save the image. So I'm going to click back. Gonna, once again, reselect this image and select Set Feature Image. Now what's going to happen is this image is going to now automatically appear at the top of the article, depending on your what theme you're using. It's also going to appear alongside your article in things like RSS feeds. And on your blog page, this image will be associated with your article as the main headline image. Plus, when people share your article, sites like Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and so on will generally pick this image as part of the, uh, the uh, web page image. So. That's a very important thing to set because this will really help make or break how well your article can gain traction outside of your website and bringing more traffic into your website. Okay, so that's great. That's one image done. So now let's say under conversion goals, maybe you want to make this dress this up a little bit with an image. So I'm going to again go into add media and again select upload files. So we've got just reviewing our article in this version here where it's easier. See the headline of the section is called conversion goals. So let's take a look at our image here. Let's expand this out for a minute. So what looks like a good image that would go with conversion goals? Well, on you know this target sign, that looks like it would be a good image that you know fits with conversion goals being on target. So uh, let's look for it again. Here it is. So what we're going to do is drag this over into here. Now we'll get our folder out of the way and now here's our image. So now I'm going to click insert into post. 
And there it is. Of course, it's a pretty big image. Don't necessarily need it to be this big, so it's taking up the whole page. So what we can do is go in here, click on the image. Now we'll click on the pencil icon. And we can you know, just set select a different size. So let's say thumbnail size is all we really need. So I'm just going to click that. So that's going to shrink it down to a smaller image. Now I'm going to click update. All right, so good. Now the image is, OK, it's being cropped in a way we don't want. So edit. So I'm going to set it back to full size. So we can actually what I can do is select custom size. OK, so actually what I'm going to do is, so this image isn't really going the way we want. So I'm going to click remove. And now I'm going to click add media and reinsert this image. There we go. So now I'm going to click this pencil icon. So using these predefined sizes didn't really give us what we want. So I'm going to use custom size. That's right down at the bottom here. And now we can set our width and the height will automatically adjust to maintain the proportions. So let's say we wanted 250. So let's set it to that. So it's going to automatically adjust this height to the right height. Now we're going to click update. There we go. So that's more what we want. Right now it's set to align center. So there's a few different alignments. You can have it set to align right, align left, no alignment. Basically, no alignment just has it be in line with the text. In this case, what we want is to put it over on the right-hand side. So it, the text is wrapping around it now. So it's appearing alongside the text that it's irrelevant to. Now, we're going to show you, you know, once again how to do that for traffic and marketing strategies. So maybe this one here, we want to have a nice big image. So I'm going to click Add Media, go to Upload Files. So now we're talking about traffic. Well, this image here is an image of traffic. So that would be a good enhancement. Whoops, didn't want to load that. So we're going to drag that over into our Upload Files. So once again, the image is going to upload. And there it is. So now we're going to insert it into our post. And there it is. So maybe in this case, we you know, want to leave this image big like this. In that case, well, we don't need to really do anything then. So and again, we just keep repeating that process. Again, pick the you know, appropriate image for to go along with this section and so on. Each time we want to add a new image. So I'd say major section breaks. That's a good place to add new images in. So now let's say we've got our stuff in here. We've got things formatted. So we don't really like where this image is. We want it to be below this bit of text. Well, what you do is you click it, drag it down. Now it's underneath that opening se you know, sentence. So those are really the basics you're going to need to know about in building your, uh, out your articles. Now this couple of other options is you can do this to manually insert or read more. So let's say you want to make sure this full first paragraph is showing, but nothing more than that. What you do is put the cursor right at the end of this paragraph, click insert read more tag. And that's what's going to happen is this part here is going to show up when there's a summary, such as on your index page for your blogs, your feeds, and anywhere else. There, and then people have to click a link to then see the full article. Now this part here is a toolbar toggle. This opens up a few more options. You can get strike through. You can insert a line, change your text color, and a few other various options. So you can change indents, formatting options, and different stuff like that. So that's some options for you to uh, consider as well when you're working on it. Now let's say you wanna wanted to make something be a headline. Well, this stuff here is, of course, ordinary paragraph text. So let's say this one here, you want it to be a headline. Well, you see up in this left corner here where it says paragraph, there's a drop down menu. Well, what you do is you click on this, click the drop down menu, and you can click either to be a paragraph or anything from heading level one, two, three, four, or five, all the way down to six. And basically, each of these will give it a you know, different lever on the high, level on the hierarchy. So this being most important, this being second most, and so on, which is both you know, valuable for your readers and helping them to understand, you know, the basically the hierarchy of your article, 
It's also helpful for the search engines as they're indexing it to help them to know which contents are most important, which ones are least important. So search engines will typically pay, pay higher attention and higher weighting to wording that's inside your heading one. Then next level is heading two. So this thing here would get the most you know, weight in terms of you know, search results. This one second most. And in heading levels, you know, three, it'll be third, fourth, fifth, sixth. And then you'd have your paragraph level stuff. So your paragraphs, bulleted lists, things like that would then be kind of down towards the bottom end of the hierarchy. So but the main thing to think about, though, is making sure that you're using good headlines to make it easy to read you know, for your readers. Okay, so let's say you've worked on your article, you've done a bunch of changes. You, you, know, you want to make sure you don't lose them. Well, you click Save Draft. And it'll save a draft copy of your article so you can come back and work on it again later. But it's not published yet, so only, you know, so only administrators or other people that are logged into your website will have the option of, you know, doing that. All right, so now we've actually also just switched over from the classic editor to the Gutenberg editor which is a new feature if you're using the latest version of WordPress, so version 5 and up, you'll actually be getting this editor. And the main difference is a lot of the stuff we're just talking about is available within here, so you just click inside your paragraphs, and you can still access all these same tools that we're just showing you before. Some of them will be over on the left-hand side. Publish icon has just moved up to here. still have your... Uh, Featured image, it's still over on the right hand side, just like before. So now let's say you've finished making all the changes we wanted to your article, we're ready to publish. Well, this blue button here, publish button, just click that, it'll then go to here where you can confirm. Now, there's a couple of options to think of here. You know, this one here, you can change visibility, we'll just leave that alone as public for now. You can set to publish it immediately or schedule an article to publish at some date in the future. Let's say maybe you know that most of your readers are more likely to read your article, let's say, on a Wednesday afternoon. So we'd set this to Wednesday. Then we'd change this time, let's say, make sure it's set to PM, and then change this, let's say, to 2.30 2 PM. So then this article will be set to automatically publish itself at, at this time we've set on 2.30 p.m. But maybe that's not necessarily what we want to do, though. If you wanted it to be a, publish it immediately, we could just you know, change it back to here. And you know, just set it back to publish it today. Okay, so once you're finished with that, just click publish. And now your article is published. So you want to view your article, let's click view post. And here's your article. So in this case, this particular theme isn't set up to show your feature image. So that's something to consider as well when you're setting this stuff up, but here's your target image, here's the other traffic image we put in here, thing comes from, but the important thing is here's your article. If we went to the blog page here, again, we'd see the article, do I need SEO for my website? Show up here and we have you know, a couple of other articles on here. So that's the main thing, that you, how you add an article to your website. So if you found this information helpful, I'd love to uh, hear your feedback, both in the comments section and with the like button. If you want to get more content, make sure you uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified of our upcoming uh, new videos. Now, I have a, before we go, though, I have a question to leave for you, and that's, are there any other issues that you have with WordPress, anything that you'd like to know how to do? Leave your questions in the comments section down below, and... 
you never know, it just might become the topic of a future WordPress how-to video. Now remember, you're awesome. So shine your awesomeness for the world to see. This has been Jason from Radiant Freedom, and bye for now.